everybody, welcome back to the Medical Projects YouTube channel. My name is Olivia and I am a third year medical student at King's College London. And here on this channel, we're dedicated to providing you with top quality videos to ensure that you get your dream spot at medical school. And I try and offer all my best tips and bits of advice that I've learned along the way in my own medical school journey in the hopes that it will help you guys out. So if you haven't already, do make sure you've subscribed to this YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on so that you can be notified every time we post and also make sure to go and follow us on all of our social media links because we love interacting with you guys and are happy to answer any questions that you might have. So it has been a few weeks since we posted on this channel so I just want to say a big hello to all our new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. So as we approach the end of January, many of you who are going through the application cycle currently will be having interviews, you might have already had some or many of you might still have some to come. So today I thought I'd film a video all about a very very common question you're likely to be asked in your interview and that is the big question of why medicine why is it you want to become a doctor now this is a question which you can pretty much guarantee is going to come up and yet although this is the case it's often really poorly answered so today I thought I'd provide you with some top tips for how to approach answering this question and perhaps some things that you should avoid doing too so before we start picking apart how to answer this question let's consider why they're actually asking you this the reason admissions tutors are wanting to ask these questions is because it allows them to try and understand your motivation for going into such a demanding and challenging field and they're assessing whether you're a suitable candidate both for medical school because medical school is challenging and also for a career as a doctor so they want to assess if you've got the necessary attributes and characteristics that are going to be necessary to thrive in medicine so I think first of all something that's really important to do with this question is to sit down before your interview and kind of think about why it is you want to go into medicine is it a really personal reason is it because you saw some fantastic work experience and you really like the environment is it because you really like science and the marriage between science and sort of like the social communication side of things what is it that makes you want to pursue this career and specifically what is it that makes you want to pursue medicine as opposed to being a paramedic or being a nurse and that's where you need to be thinking about the distinct job roles and what it is you'll be doing as a doctor that's unique to that profession so my first top tip for answering this question well is to sit down beforehand and think about your motivations for wanting to study medicine so think about things like the skills and attributes that are required so it might be you want to go into medicine because it's a environment where you are constantly learning and you'll be broadening your knowledge every single day whatever it is I recommend having a clear idea about what it is you want to talk about and the thing about interviews is you want to get that sweet spot where you're not sounding rehearsed and robotic because it just doesn't come across naturally whatsoever but also you don't want to sound like you've only just considered the answer in that very moment because sometimes when that's the case you have a tendency to waffle and go on a bit of a tangent so I think with many interview questions which you can almost guarantee will come up it's worthwhile just sitting down beforehand and bullet pointing I usually say around three points that you want to discuss and that means you have a bit more of a structured answer and it signposts the admissions tutor as to what you're going to talk about instead of just kind of word vomiting it all out my next top tip is to avoid saying generic phrases now it is pretty much almost guaranteed that all of us want to go into medicine because we want to help people that is almost implied in the sense that you're going into a vocational course but these are things that everyone is going to say so try and elaborate on these points or avoid saying these very generic phrases so you don't want to be saying things like I want to go into medicine because I want to help people or I want to go into medicine because I want to save lives. That is definitely, definitely true. You can definitely do that in the career and it's an amazing privilege. But if you're going to be saying these things, you want to elaborate on that further. So maybe it's you want to go into a career where you're going to be helping people and you're going to be helping people by utilizing skills that are constantly developing over your career and you're able to sort of see that progression for yourself and see that progression in terms of the procedures you're able to perform on a patient. So my main point is try and elaborate on whatever you're saying. Don't just throw in the key phrases which you think they want to hear. My next tip for answering the why medicine question is to throw in some examples from your work experience and this is really really important because it shows that you have a realistic insight into what a career in medicine entails and it also shows that you're reflecting on what you've seen reflective practice is so so important you'll be doing it all the time in medical school whether you're reflecting on a patient encounter or a procedure you performed 
it's something that you really need to get good at and it's something that you're going to be doing as a doctor too so you might as well demonstrate these skills from very early on so again whenever you're saying something try and back it up with some evidence so i really want to study medicine because i find the fact that we work as a team really really appealing this is something i witnessed constantly when i was on my work experience in particular when i was observing a surgery whereby i noticed the teamwork between the scrub nurse and the surgeon and the anaesthetist and that ensured that the patient safety was maintained throughout and again if you're saying things like i want to do medicine because i think i have this skill that i'm really good at then back it up and say and i know that's important because i witnessed it during my work experience and i noticed that by having this attribute it meant that the doctor was able to communicate really effectively with the patient for example my next top tip for answering this question is to demonstrate you have a realistic insight and sometimes you can demonstrate that by avoiding saying certain things so for example please do not i hope you don't say i want to study medicine because it's a good financial option i will be making lots of money and i will live a comfortable life firstly there are literally millions of other professions which you'll be wealthier in and you'll be wealthier more quickly in but also it's just it's not a good reason to study medicine you should never be motivated by financial means and it's just like a big like red cross in medicine. It's not something we want to be seeing in candidates. But you can also show you have a realistic insight by saying things like, you know, I want to be with patients and be communicating with patients and caring for them at their most vulnerable times. This is something that I know is a really challenging part of the job, especially during my work experience. I witness very difficult conversations, but it's something that I see as an utmost privilege to be a part of. By showing you have a realistic insight, it means you understand the demands of the job, you know certain things are going to be very challenging and you consider how you're going to address those. How are you going to deal with very emotional situations? How are you going to deal with the stress that you may encounter on a daily basis or moral dilemmas you're going to have to tackle? And why is it you think you're going to be able to deal with these things in the long run? Finally, when it comes to answering the question, why medicine? I suggest you avoid either directly or indirectly bashing other healthcare professions. So what I mean by this is saying something like, I want to be a doctor because they have more autonomy or they have more responsibilities than a nurse. It's putting down other members of the MDT and that's something that's just really frowned upon. Often you'll be asked a follow-up question anyway, like why not nursing? But make sure if you choose to talk about other healthcare professionals or you're asked a follow-up question about, you know, why not nursing? Do not bash the profession. You can highlight the distinct job roles and specifications, but don't do that in a derogatory way. So you might say something like, I acknowledge the importance of nurses, especially in terms of the continuity of care and caring for the patients, but I really feel like I want to be at the forefront of making those decisions and making those diagnoses and I feel like my skill set is much better utilised here. So in doing so, you're acknowledging the importance of other healthcare professionals, but you're saying why you think your attributes are better suited to a career in medicine. And that's what you want to get across because there are so many careers you can have within the NHS. So you want to make it super, super clear why you think it is your character, your attributes, your skills will match that of being a doctor better than anything else. So those are all of my top tips for answering why medicine. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our other videos about interview tips. We have two mock interviews for you. We have other videos about breaking bad news and answering ethical scenario questions. So do make sure you have a browse of those as well. And also guys, if there's anything you want to see, if there's anything where you're thinking, I have no idea how to approach this or this part of the medicine application is hard, do let us know in the comments. We always want to tailor the content for you guys so that these videos are as informative and relevant as possible for you guys. And again, if you haven't already, please do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on and go and follow us on all of our social media links. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best of luck, sending all my positive vibes to you, whether you're getting ready for the UCAT or getting ready to start your medicine application or if you're preparing for interviews. I'm wishing you guys the best of luck. I know you guys are going to smash it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.